you go to groceries, you go to haircuts, you go to blow money, you go to... Do you know what a zero-based budget is? If you don't, I'm about to break it down. And I'm going to tell you how we do a zero-based budget right and how we do it wrong. Stick around. Howdy! I don't know why I did that. That's embarrassing. I'm Wendy Valencia. That's like a news reporter talking. I'm Wendy Valencia. And on this channel, we're here to talk about all things family finance. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. So today I am diving into the topic of zero-based budgeting. I'm gonna tell you what it is and then I'm gonna tell you how we are doing it sometimes wrong. So if you don't know what zero-based budgeting is, the concept is simple. Every single dollar you earn in a month must have a plan. I told you it was simple. So you take every single dollar that you earn for that month and you throw it into a big pile and then you roll around in it. Sorry, the filter in my brain was supposed to stop that from actually leaving my mouth. Sometimes my filter doesn't work so well. Let's try that again. Take the total amount of money that you have earned for that month or that total that you anticipate earning for that month, depending on whether you are working on your zero-based budget in the month as you earn it or the month after you earn it. In my household, we earn the money one month and we use it the following month, but a lot of people on this plan earn it and spend it as they go. Then you get a list of your bills and you just list them out and you start assigning dollars to categories and you keep assigning until every single cent is gone. So what do you do if you have everything funded and you still have money left over? You lucky dog, high five. That's when we start looking at the baby steps. Where you put that extra money depends entirely on what baby step you're on. Baby step one, you're gonna put it towards your $1,000 emergency fund. Baby step two, you're gonna put it towards debt. Baby step three, uh, you, you get the point. Simple, right? So are we operating on a zero-based budget? Well, yes and no. Do we assign every dollar a category? Yep. But something tells me that Dave Ramsey might say, we're not operating on a zero-based budget. Why? Because of this category. So in our budget, we have something called the cushion category. It is in there for things that come up that we do not expect, and we use it frequently. Does it mean we're on a zero-based budget? Sort of. We're just planning for those little things that come up every month that we don't know are gonna come up. That makes us not overdraft our checking account and that's super important. So I'd be interested to hear your take on this. Do you think we're operating on a zero-based budget if we have a $100 cushion category in there or not? Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Does it promote overspending? Could be, but is it really overspending if it's in the budget? That is the question for the ages. Well, hello, Melina. I am so excited that you're here today. I'm so excited that I'll um, be with you today. I'll be in the video, but um, I'll be, um, when my mom says to get off the camera, I'll go and sit over there. And then when she said they have to come back, I'll come and stand up in this footstool. And today we are talking, what are we talking about? About money. About money! Yay! Are there lots of monies here? Yeah. Should we go shopping? <laughs> yeah. No, yes. we should save our money, right? Yeah. Check it out. Hey, who's that? That's me when I was a baby. My grandma was so, which one, my grandma or my great, great grandma? I don't know, what story are you gonna tell? Um, one someone sold that for you and then you gave it to me. Oh, this would be your, my grandma, your great grandma. So that. And then, um, when, um, then when she, it was too big for her, um, when I was born, she gave it to me. And then we took a picture and it, I think it said my name up here, Melina. No, this is the, the artist that took the picture. He was a famous photographer in Mexico and he took the pictures. You may uh, have noticed a little bit of difference. In? Um, in this room that um, the walls been painted a different color from the paintings we got because um, my grandma um, like didn't like any of the colors so we bought this color and she really liked it. What happened is 
mommy got some feedback that she needed to change her background up on her YouTube channels. And so mommy was talking to Winka about- yeah, I call her Winka. So what ended up happening with the walls is after talking to my mom, I told her what I was doing and we moved the bed. It's actually leaning up against the wall. So I'd have a little bit of room and I wouldn't have to film with the window lights anymore. I would go ahead and film with just regular studio lights. When I filmed the first couple of videos up against that pink wall, oh my goodness, it made me look so funny. Like the- It the, felt really horrible. Yeah, it just amplified the red I have going on in my face. It just looked awful. And I was trying to come up with a way around that. And that's when I purchased that backdrop that I talked about in the haul that I did the other day. The backdrop didn't work out. And my mother was like, I don't like that paint color. If you wanna paint, you can. Well, it is my mother's house. And so we let my mother pick and she picked this color and it looks fantastic with her accessories for the room. And so it doesn't make me look as pink anymore. So I'm pretty and pleased today. about that. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.